In this video we will present the auto spam filter tool from analyticstoolkit.com. This is a set and forget solution to the problem of Google Analytics referral spam and ghost traffic in general. You activate the tool once and it then keeps all your accounts and properties protected from spam. We keep an up-to-date database of spam referrals and other abusers so that only minimal quantities of spam will make it through to your reports, if any. It's a big time saver, especially for agencies or freelancers who manage multiple accounts, since even setting the filters once can be a demanding task, not to mention constantly checking for new spam and keeping multiple filters in a number of accounts up to date. Here is how it works. When you open the tool, there is just one checkbox. You check it, update the settings, and the tool is on. This triggers the following. First, all your currently active web properties in analyticstoolkit.com are added to our list of properties to protect from spam. Second, our tool will add the filters to all of these properties. Third, our tool will check your spam filters about once a week in order to keep them synchronized with our central spam database. We have an interface where you can check the protection status of your active properties. Newly added ones have the status of pending while properties with all filters up to date have a status of protected. In some cases, you might not have the privileges to create and link the filter to a property. You will see a no permission sign next to it. Any new properties you activate for use in analyticstoolkit.com will automatically be added to the protection list. We offer two optional functions in this tool as well. The first one allows you to exclude a set of views from the filter application, so if you keep row or backup views, with no filters, they can remain filter free. The field uses regular expressions, so it's advised that you have some understanding of regex before you decide to use it. By default, we would not apply filters to any views whose names end in row or backup, but you can leave the field completely empty in order to apply the spam protection filters to all views. The second optional function is very handy for online marketing agencies, SEO agencies, CRO agencies, and others, as they often would want to have their own traffic excluded from the statistics of a client's site. By entering a list of IPs in this field, you will instruct the toolkit to create an exclusion filter based on them. You can also use basic regular expressions in this field. If you'd like to have good quality, spam-free data in Google Analytics with minimal maintenance, this is the tool for you. Whether you have 100 or 1000 views that need spam protection, just turn the switch on and we'll take it from there.